Hey there. Well, here we are coming up on the end of a growing season. And uh, my uh, two little chestnuts on the other side of the creek behind me here that were identified as American chestnuts, they uh, started falling. Now, all my other chestnuts, uh, they haven't started falling yet, but it's just around the corner. That being said, earlier this year I posted this LaRocca. It uh, came out of puberty this year. Normally when they come out of puberty that first year, you don't get viable seeds. Uh, earlier today, I harvested uh, three chestnuts out of one hull that were viable. And now I'm looking at two more hulls. I'm going to go ahead and harvest them out uh, because uh, I don't want them to fall on the ground and animals get to them. I wasn't going to germinate uh, any chestnuts this year, but uh, I have to say I'm intrigued with this LaRocca. It grew probably faster than any chestnut I've grown yet, and it produced at an earlier age than any of the chestnuts I've had so far. That being said, I got this right here. Now, you got to be careful when you're handling them holes, man. I mean, they're spiny. Uh, there's one more chestnut hull up in there. It's not opened up yet, but... And I can tell by looking at them, those are viable. That makes a total of nine. I got another uh, LaRocca over there that... Uh, could be ready. I haven't checked yet. I just noticed these ones right off the rip. I just want to germinate these particular ones to see uh, how they do as far as germinating and uh, and to see how they do as far as growth rate. Now, granted, these are going to be hybridized. Uh, I'm imagining these uh, uh, American Chinese hybrids hybridized that one and that's where I'm probably just going to get a hybrid chestnut. Nonetheless, a chestnut. On give me an opportunity to see how this tree is going to do, along with my others. I've got uh, I think three of the LaRocas that uh, had chestnut hulls in them. They all broke puberty, but that first year of puberty, they normally don't uh, produce chestnuts. Uh, they'll have the hull. But the nuts will not be viable. But I can tell by looking at these, these are going to be viable. And then uh, later, later on, I got somebody I'm acquainted with. Uh, as these start to drop, uh, I'm going to be uh, collecting chestnuts for him. And we'll see uh, how that turns out. Uh, I'm going to collect uh, 10 of them from the, uh, the Americans I have over there. 10 of them from my Dunstan, and 10 of them from uh, these American hybrids, and uh, ship them out to him uh, with instructions on how to uh, germinate. I normally don't send chestnuts out to people like that, but uh, he and I, we've talked uh, a few times, and uh, we worked out a little bit of a bartering. Well, that being said, uh, I'll go ahead and grab this pole pruner, head on over there, and see what i got going on. Hopefully I have some more over there that are ready to go. And uh, 
get started on germinating these. So far, uh, what I'll be germinating this year is the chestnuts, and I got a bunch of pawpaw seeds I'm going to germinate. And hopefully, things work out right uh, between me and this feller. Uh, I'll have some more persimmons to uh, germinate. Well, my name's Jim. Y'all have a good day.